access to a pillow off that couch behind you or um, a blanket, anything that you can just put right under your tailbone so it kind of pushes your hips forward, that would be nice. And it'll be good under your knees as well. So I invite you just to come into whatever your comfortable seat will look like. It does not have to look like mine. You could even have your legs out straight in front. And you can close your eyes or have a soft gaze towards the floor. So we're just going to start to feel into our physical body. So just note how you're feeling at six o'clock on a Tuesday evening. Notice if there's any ease within your body. Maybe you're feeling nice and relaxed. Maybe there are little places of tension. Just give yourself a full body scan here. See what you find. Note it and just move on from it. Let the shoulders just rest in the lap, or the, not the shoulders, but the hands just rest on your legs. Before we bring any awareness to our breath, I'm gonna invite you to find a nice tall spine. So you can just kind of move a little bit side to side, almost like you're ratcheting up, finding some length, sending the crown of the head up towards the sky. You can keep your eyes closed. And then I want you to bring awareness just to the very bottom of your rib cage and see if you can lift through your ribs and notice how that helps expand the spine. We'll come into our breath here. So just take a breath, a regular old inhale and exhale. You can note the depth of the breath. Where is it showing up? Is it in your belly? Is it even with the lower part of the ribs? Is it up by the collarbones? There's no wrong answer. And wherever that breath is, just allow it to expand. Take a deeper inhale. And a deeper exhale. Relax the jaw. So as you take these nice big deep inhales and exhales, you're actually informing your body that you can relax right now. We'll give ourselves two more breaths. Last one. Take an inhale with me. And as you exhale, you can slowly just flutter the eyes back open and bring your awareness back to me. Welcome. We're gonna roll down onto our backs. We're gonna have the legs extended long and then bring the arms up over the head. But let the shoulders relax once you get there. Notice the opening through the heart. Notice what happens when you take those nice big inhales, how the ribs expand up and to the sides. And they press into the mat. Slowly, slowly, slowly start to walk your heels over towards the right. You're just moving the lower body, not the upper body. And if it feels okay, maybe this left ankle crosses over the right. If it doesn't, that's fine. We'll take an inhale. Lift the upper body using your core muscles and then move your shoulders over to the right, slowly exhaling, coming back down. So we're just making a little C with our body. Keep that left arm nice and relaxed. 
Just breathing in here, noticing the opening of the left side body. We're just taking a nice, gentle, cold stretch here, seeing what's available on that left side. Take an inhale, use your core strength to lift the upper body back to center and then slowly exhale, resting back down into the mat. Uncross those heels and we'll, then we'll walk them all the way over to the left side of your mat. You can cross that right heel over the left if it feels okay. And once you feel situated in the lower body, we'll take an inhale, lift with the core muscles, moving the shoulders over to the left, and then exhaling to release back down, resting into the mat. Shoulders relax. Just breathing into that right side body. One more breath. Take an inhale, lift the upper body with that strength in the center. And then exhale, release those shoulders right back down over the hips. We'll uncross the legs and bring those legs straight back down the mat. And then we'll bring the knees into the chest. You can take your palms and wrap them right below the kneecaps. If this isn't comfortable in your body, just let the knees fall on the outside of the ribs. Wherever you are, just give yourself a little gentle rock side to side, getting a little back massage here, releasing through the low back. If you'd like to take a moment here to circle the ankles, point and flex the feet, you can do that as well. And then I'll give you two choices here. We're gonna roll over on into table. So you can either rock and roll up and down the length of the spine to roll all the way over into table. Or you can roll over onto one side or the other and use your palm to press into the floor to lift yourself up. And then just make your way to hands and knees. So feel free to put that blanket under the knees if that would feel good. You're gonna spread the fingers nice and wide to make sure that the wrists are right under your shoulders. And if you need a little softness in the elbows, that's fine. Knees are under hips, tops of the feet on the mat. We're gonna stay with that awareness of the, rib, of the low ribs, right at the base of the ribs. So we'll take an inhale and let those ribs fall down towards the mat as the tailbone and the crown of the head reach up towards the sky. And then exhale, tuck that middle rib back in, navel lifts towards the sky, shoulder blades come apart. We'll move here five or six more times, your breath. Noticing the stretch of the torso and the neck on the inhale. The opening of the back on the exhale. Really let that chin come in towards the chest on the exhale, feeling the stretch through the back of the neck. We've got two more. Meet me in that neutral spine. And then we're gonna take our hands and reach them towards the top of the mat. Keep those knees under the hips. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, let the heart mount towards the floor as you keep the booty up towards the sky. This is called puppy pose or heart melting pose. You'll start to feel just a little bit of opening through the heart, through the shoulders. And there's also a lot of tension on the low back. 
So see what happens if you try to tuck the tailbone in just a little bit. It'll send a stretch all the way up to the middle fingers on both hands. We'll take one more breath. Uncurl the tailbone, take an inhale as you lift up through the upper body and then you can remove or bring those hands back under the shoulders. From here, we'll curl our toes, take an inhale, and as you exhale, lift the hips into down dog. So when we did puppy pose, that's what your upper body should feel like here in this down dog with the tailbone up towards the sky. Don't worry about whether or not those knees are straight. In fact, you can pedal through the feet just to warm up a little bit through the back of the legs. Connect this breath to movement. And if you feel like you're holding all the weight in your hands and in your shoulders, lift the tailbone higher and shorten your stance. And we'll spend three more breaths here. Last one. So we're gonna walk our hands back towards our feet. We'll meet at the back of our mats in a forward fold, big bend in the knees. Let that torso roll over the thighs, shoulders roll down towards the floor. We'll take an inhale halfway and find a long spine. Same thing with the ribs here. What would happen if you pushed the lower ribs towards the floor just a little bit. It's gonna help you find that nice long back. Fresh inhale, and then exhale to release towards the floor. Softness through the knees as you take a fresh breath. And then exhale, we'll slowly rise, honoring the low back. As you come up to stand and those palms come near the hips, Let's take a fresh inhale, reach the arms up over the head. Shoulders relax down. And let's take just a moment here to connect with this standing posture. So maybe rock back and forth on the feet, from the toes to the heels of the feet. Keep a little softness through the knees, length through the spine. And it may help to tuck the tailbone in here and lift those ribs just a bit finding even more length here. We'll take one more breath. Inhale, and then exhale, give yourself a forward fold. We'll come all the way back down. So keep that softness in the knees. You can clasp elbows here and give yourself a little gentle rock side to side. Your torso might even be resting on the thighs here. Again, that's fine. Head hangs heavy. Last breath. Beautiful. As you're ready, bring those hands to the mat. We'll walk those hands forward and we're gonna come right back into down dog. There's a little bit more warmth in the legs, but you can continue to pedal out. We've got about five breaths here. Here we go, last one. Beautiful. So from this down dog, just lift your left leg just a little bit and then step that left leg through so that you can just bring it forward. You're gonna immediately come down onto that right knee. So if you need to move in a different way than I cued it, it's totally fine. 
<clears throat> you're gonna press into this left foot and bring yourself up to this right knee. So if you need to put a blanket under it, go right ahead. And once you're in this kneeling stance, before we even worry about arms, let's check this right knee. Let's press it into the mat and start to engage through those glutes. You'll feel a stretch to the inside of the right leg. We'll add hands here. So inhale, lift them up over the head, shoulders relax. Breathing here. You're gonna take this left forearm and just let it rest all the way down that left knee. The left palm's just right on top of that left knee. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, let those right fingertips reach over to the right. That left foot's pressing into the mat. There's opening through that right side body, and there's engagement through the glutes. One more breath. Inhale, lift both arms up over the head, and then exhale to bring the hands down towards the floor. See if you can curl those right toes. You can go ahead and lift your hips. We're gonna come back to down dog. Again, if you need to move in a different way than I offered the cues, feel free. Inhale, lift that right leg up behind you and then bring the knee up close to your nose so you can step that right foot through. That left knee automatically comes down to the mat, left top of the foot on the mat, and then we'll press in and come up. Let's check the lower body first, so heels right under the, or the knee. Pressing into that left knee to lift up, engaging through the glutes, and then we'll inhale to lift the arms up over the head. Lift the ribs. Right hand comes down on top of that right thigh. Take an inhale. And then exhale, reach those left fingertips over to the right. So we're just stretching deeper through that left side body. We're getting into that left shoulder. Inhale, bring the arms back up over the head. And then exhale to bring them towards the floor. Curl those left toes, lift your hips, and we'll meet back in down dog. From here, bend your knees and press into the balls of the feet so you can ripple your body into a plank. You can always lower your knees. In this plank, start to really think about a long spine, the booty stays down and the shoulders are right over the wrists. We'll spend two more breaths here. We're gonna move through Chaturanga to Up Dog. So you take an inhale, and then as you exhale, those elbows stay in close to the ribs as you lower down halfway, and then you just press into your hands as the hips melt towards the mat. You come on to the top of the feet, the legs are engaged. This is up dog, strong through the arms. We'll send the knees to the mats and the hips back. And we'll take a child's pose to release that low back pressure that we just had in up dog. It's called a counter pose. So let those shoulders roll down towards the mat. Torso rolls over the thighs. One more breath. Let that exhale completely go. And then we'll make our way back into table. Curl your toes, take an inhale, and lift your hips into down dog. One more breath.
Beautiful. Walk with me to the top of the mat. We'll meet there in a forward fold. We'll take an inhale halfway long spine. Think about those ribs lifting, even though they're lifting towards the floor, find that flat back. Take one more breath. Inhale. And then exhale to release towards the floor. Inhale down low. And then exhale, we'll take that slow rise coming up in a way that serves the body. Leave those palms next to the hips. Turn the palms open towards the front of your mat and then find that connection to your feet. Softness through the knees. As you ripple up that awareness, let the tailbone tuck in, the ribs lift, the crown of the head lifts towards the sky. One more breath. Take an inhale, lift the arms up over the head. And then exhale the palms down in front of the heart, bow, chin to chest, take a breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring your gaze back towards me. We're gonna take a fresh breath and then move our awareness over to the left side of our body. So our, we're light on that right leg and we're using all of our strength in this left leg. So press the sole of the foot into the mat, ripple up, lift those ribs. You get even lighter on that right foot. Lift that right knee and then send the right toes back. You're gonna have them, at, if you were on a uh, round old school clock, your toes would be pointing at like one o'clock and your heel would be at six o'clock. Hands are at the heart. See if you can lift the ribs even here. We'll take an inhale and then add in arms to lower them down, lower the shoulders down once you get there. Nice big heart opening here. Just breathing through. One more breath. Beautiful. See if from this posture you can come onto the ball of that right foot and maybe you sink just a little bit deeper into crescent. If that's too much, feel free to lower that right knee. Just lower it all the way down to the mat. You're gonna bring your hands back in front of your heart. We're gonna go into a twist to get into this right shoulder. So think about lifting through the ribs, lifting the crown, inhale. And then exhale, bring that right elbow over to that left knee. So you're thinking about really lifting through the spine, even press the, rib, the ribs forward here just a bit, finding that twist. And one more breath. Inhale to bring the hands back to the heart. And then all you have to do, if you're on your knee, just meet me back up at the top of the mat. If you're um, in the full expression, get a little energy going in the ball of that right foot. We'll meet back at the top of the mat, forward fold, hands at the heart, give yourself a breath. Find footing here, we'll take an inhale and then move awareness over to the right. Press the foot into the mat, ripple through the spine, find that strength. And then we'll step these left toes back, finding warrior one. Hands at the heart. When you feel good about the legs, take an inhale, reach the arms up over the head, shoulders roll down the back. So it's almost as if your shoulder blades are trying to kiss behind you right now. One more breath. Beautiful. See if you can spin onto the ball of that left foot. If that's not comfortable, just lower that left knee down to the mat. We'll take an inhale and bring those hands back in front of the heart. Lengthen through the spine, lift the ribs, take a fresh breath, and then exhale to find that twist. So that left elbow comes down to the right knee. Think about lifting the ribs, which expands the spine nice and long. And 
One more breath. Inhale back to center. Find that energy into the ball of the left foot. We'll come back to the top of the mat. If you were kneeling, <clears throat> we're about to take a forward fold so we can all meet there together. Inhale, lift the arms up over the head. And then exhale, forward fold. So wherever you are, meet me here. Give yourself one more breath. We'll take an inhale halfway, long spine. And then exhale to release towards the floor. Inhale down low. And then exhale, slow rise. We're coming all the way back up. As the palms come near the hips, take a fresh inhale. We'll reach the arms up over the head. And then exhale, hands come down in, the heart, in front of the heart. Bow, chin to chest. Give yourself a breath. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, just lift the gaze back towards me. <clears throat> Keep the hands at heart center. So I'm going to show you our um, balance pose. I've only, other, I've only offered this balance pose like twice in my whole time as a teacher. So you're getting a treat. All right. So it's called an ipsilateral chair. And we're just going to start by taking an inhale and sending that body weight over to the left side of the body, just like we did that last round. So press that left foot into the floor, get really strong on that side of your body, light on those right toes. And then we're just gonna lift this right leg out in front of us, but we're gonna keep it low, but we're gonna flex the foot so this right leg becomes engaged. You can keep your hands at your heart, or you can take an inhale and reach the arms up over the head and relax the shoulders down the back. So this is a modified standing staff. To make it ipsilateral chair, you're gonna to start to bend this left knee as the upper body starts to tilt forward just a bit and then press those ribs forward to keep the length through the spine. Continue to breathe. Inhale, lift the arms back up over the head, straightening through the standing leg, nice and tall. Hands come back to the heart, right leg drops back to the floor. And then you can just shimmy it out for a second. Grab a sip of water. <clears throat> I'll meet you with your hands at your heart, feet connected to the mat. Rippling up through the crown of the head, lifting the ribs, tucking in the tailbone. We'll take an inhale and move that awareness over to the right side of the body. Right leg, right knee is not locked. Becoming light on those left toes, we'll send that left foot forward and keep the left foot flexed. You can add in arms if you'd like. So inhale up over the head, shoulders relax. You can stay right here if that's all you want today. If you want a little bit more, bend that right knee as the upper body tilts forward and then press the ribs out to find the link through the spine. Last breath. Inhale, lifting the arms up over the head if they're not in prayer. And then that left foot comes back to the mat. Hands come down in front of the heart. Give yourself a breath. You can sigh it out if that would feel good. Beautiful. We'll take an inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Step those feet back, we're going back to down dog. Give yourself two more breaths.
Beautiful. All right, we're gonna bend those knees, press into the balls of the feet, and then let your body ripple into that plank. We'll hold this one four breaths, just for Madeline, who wants strong arms and shoulders. So keep that booty down, shoulders are over the wrists, and then think about those ribs. Can you press them towards the floor and feel that length through the spine? Last breath. Inhale deep. And then with control, we'll keep those elbows in as we lower down halfway, sending the hips towards the floor as we come on top of the feet. Hands press into the mat. One more breath here in this up dog. This time we'll lower the knees and send the booty up in the air. Reach those hands towards the top of the mat. We're going right back into puppy or heart melting pose. So fresh breath and then exhale to release the upper body down towards the mat. Just notice how much more open you're feeling here in your upper body. One more breath. Beautiful. Lift the upper body, bring those hands back under the shoulders and we're gonna move through one more standing flow. <clears throat> so curl your toes, lift your hips, down dog. All right, when you're ready, take an inhale, lift that left leg up towards the sky, and then bring knee to nose, step that left foot through. You're gonna take this right heel and turn it in towards the midline. So just spin on the ball of that right foot. So now your right heel is in line with your left heel, it's just further down the mat. Take an inhale and then press into that left foot. We're moving into warrior two. So our heel is right behind our toes, our shoulders are right over our hips, and that right heel is pressing into the floor behind me. Gaze over the middle finger of the front hand. Lunging into that left knee. You're going to take this left elbow and place it down on your left knee. Take an inhale, reach these right fingertips up and over to the left where I could drive a race car from the very tip of your hand all the way down to the bottom of your ankle. Nice fluid line from finger to foot. So then awareness to this left elbow, we're not breaking or not letting all that weight from that left side body dump into that left arm. We're strong through that left arm. Deepening that side stretch. Inhale, let this right hand come down to your mat. Chest turns towards the floor. You're gonna spin onto the ball of your back foot. And then take an inhale, lift this left arm up towards the sky. So awareness to that left knee. Try not to let it fall out to the left. Use your strength on the inside of your leg, that left leg, to squeeze that left leg in, keeping it nice and strong. Left hand comes down outside of that left foot. You can press into the hands. We'll make our way back into down dog. Give yourself a nice big deep breath. All right, here we go. Take an inhale, lift that right leg up towards the sky. And then exhale, knee to nose, step that right foot through. Left heel turns in towards the center of your mat. We'll take an inhale and windmill up into warrior two. So check all of your things just to maintain integrity in the pose. Four. 
One more breath. Bring that right elbow down to that right knee. Left fingertips sweep over to the right. And there's that long line as you lunge into that right leg, strong through that right upper arm. Think about the heart being nice and open. That left shoulder is in line with the left hip. Slowly let that left hand come down to the mat. Spin onto the ball of that left foot. Fresh breath, right fingertips up towards the sky, strong through that left arm. And then awareness to the inside of that right thigh, squeezing it in, staying strong right here. One more breath. Right arm lowers down to the mat, pressing in, finding down dog. And if you haven't given yourself that deep inhale and a sigh out through the mouth, just letting everything go, gift yourself that goodness. All right, last plank of the class. So bend those knees, press into the balls of the feet. We'll ripple into this plank. We'll hold it three breaths this time. Nice and strong, ribs towards the floor, elongates through the spine. All right, last chaturanga to up dog, inhale. Exhale with control. Moving into your up dog. And we'll let those knees come to the mat, send the hips back. We'll take a child's pose right here, letting everything release. One more breath. Slowly make your way into table, but it's just so you can take those feet and swing them over to one side. We're gonna come onto our booties and leave those legs long out in front. So once you find the seat, think about pressing your tailbone into the floor and lifting through the ribs. You can see how nice and neutral my spine is. Take an inhale, lift the arms up over the head. Shoulders relax down the back, fresh breath, and then exhale to fold forward. So we're gonna keep pushing those lower ribs forward so we keep that long spine and just bring the hands to the floor on either side of your legs and use that to hold your spot. Now listen to the exhales. They will inform you whether or not you've gone too far or there's more space you may want to explore going a little deeper or it will let you know you're perfect right where you are. Give yourself two more breaths. Go ahead and use those hands to walk yourself up. And then you can just scoot your booty down just a little bit, roll down onto your back, bring those knees back into the chest or on the outside of the ribs, whatever's more comfortable in your body. Just releasing any tension in the low back. One more breath right here. So take your hands and wrap them right below your right knee. 
So that right knee stays in towards the chest or outside of the ribs on the right side. Lift this left leg up towards the sky and then press the heel up towards the sky so you feel a really great stretch through the back of the leg. Fresh inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower that left leg down the mat all the way with control. And see if you can release this just for a moment, releasing any tension, maybe even the tension of holding the leg in towards the chest. Last breath. As you take your next breath, slowly lift this left leg back up towards the sky. And then bend that left knee. The hands are gonna move over to the left knee as the right leg makes its way up towards the sky. So send that left heel up, toes flex down just for a moment, feeling that goodness. Fresh inhale, and then exhale to let the leg relax all the way down the mat. So a body scan here from sole of the foot up to the crown of the head, where can you release? As you take that next inhale, lifting that right leg up towards the sky. And then just bending that right knee, soles of the feet come to the mat, knees up towards the ceiling. And then just, of course, the hands have released by now. So I'm gonna give you just two or three breaths. It may feel really good to just windshield wiper your knees over from side to side. You may want to go back to that full body stretch to either side with the C where you walk the ankles over and then the upper body over. But just a moment here to listen to that internal voice that will tell you what your physical body wants in this moment. If you did that stretch on one side, go ahead and offer it to yourself on the other. Wherever you are, I invite you just to find a moment or two of stillness on your mat. So let the legs stretch long. The arms can be wherever is comfortable. Find that nice big cleansing breath with the inhale in and then the sigh out your mouth. We'll just take a moment or two here just to integrate everything we've done.
And slowly start to bring some awareness back into this space that we have created together. You can make any small movements with the hands and the feet. Maybe wiggle the toes, circle the ankles. Wiggle the fingers, circle the wrists. And take just a moment to roll on to one side or the other. You can use that hand pressing into the floor to bring yourself up to a seat. We're gonna spend about five minutes writing. So I invite you to get something to write with. I actually have a prompt for you tonight. So I thought that we could just spend, a, I'll, I'll set the timer for about three minutes. Just um, take just a moment here, give yourself a deep breath and then just let pen go to paper. You can just start writing about things that you are in fact grateful for. It can be people, places, tangible things in your home or in your driveway, whatever it is. A sweet friend that I'm very grateful for that lives in Massachusetts and she sends me these sweet little cards in the mail. I'll just go out there and there'll be just a random little card in the mail and so the front of this one says, be happy. And then you open it and it has a quote in it and it's from a lady named Marie Ray and it says, begin doing what you want to do now. We have only this moment sparkling like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake. So I welcome any comments or feedback, anything anybody